currently today, the Israeli government owns 93% of the land um, of Israel that's owned by the government and it's leased out to the people. So the Jewish National Fund was, was founded in 1901, and that fund itself owns 13% of the land, but um, most of it's owned by the Israel Land um, Administration, the ILA. That was established a little bit later in 1960. That's 93% of Israel's land is the ILA. The JNF owned 50% of the land held by Jews in 1948. And if you think about this refugee crisis, with most of the land being held by government, and if you think about any land that is gained during that time of war, that's not going to go directly to individual citizens and you think about these organizations are a way of them managing this land. So now you get the land transferred into the hands of the Israeli government. And yeah, so you're left with Palestinian refugees that are not let back into their settlements in their homes. And that's one of the major issues there. And part of that is the shifting of property rights from individuals to these government bodies. <laughs> 